Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem, and this is our Foundry VTT series. Uh, we have been updating the Stormwreck Isle module that we've been doing for quite a few videos now, uh, making little changes and things like that. And in the last video, we were updating the journals for the Compass Rose, and we came across this particular um, part about the treasure uh, for In the Hold, <clears throat> where they can, the party, the characters, can loot some of these crates and things and have a good old rummage around. Uh, when a character opens a crate, roll a 1d6 and consult the um, the contents table to see uh, what they actually find in there. Um, and that brings up a question. Uh, roll tables, so random encounter tables and things like that. We've not actually looked at that at all yet. So we're gonna have a little look uh, and see what happens. So um, let's have a quick look at what's actually supposed to be in here just scrolling through on the other screen of the module got the table up so yeah there's six there's six options here um five bottles of wine worth 10 gold each so 50 gold in total total uh, a 20 pound sack of whole clothes worth 60 gp 10 small one pound bars of silver worth 5 gp each a pair of candlesticks holded 25 gold each a fine loot with mother of pearl inlay worth 50 gold and a spell scroll of command sealed in a leather case so those are the six options that we have and it's yes yeah, a random table now what's a little bit interesting is they can stand here uh, in this area and they can just keep looting as long as they want and get all six of those things um so it's a little bit you know why have we given them a table um and we could just randomize it but we want to play with so up here on the top right rollable tables we've not done this before so <laughs> let's see how wrong we can get this right okay so create a rollable table that looks like a good place to start what are we going to call it um it doesn't look like we can dump this into a folder at this point um, but that's okay so this is going to be compass rose um hold loot something like that doesn't matter we can rename it later if we want to okay what does that bring us up i'm going to get rid of this uh get rid of that for the moment just so we can see a bit clearer what we're doing i put hole instead of hold there we go uh it looks like i can type in a description here if i want to um and i can format that i can put an image in if i want to i wonder what bones is uh that's some crossbones there we go uh so yeah so we can we can pick any of these that we think might be useful uh let's, let's uh, there's a chest there yeah let's use the chest um roll table formula well we know this is going to be a 1d6 because it tells us that uh draw with replacement so what this means is the first time we roll on it, let's say we roll a one, we get five bottles of wine. The next time we roll on it, if we get a one again, we will get another five bottles of wine. Um, so we can turn that off to say, actually, once it's gone, it's gone. If we want to. Um, I'm going to leave that on there for a moment. Um, display a roll formula to chat. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about that, to be honest. We'll see how it works, and then we can make that decision later. All right, so here we have update, reset, and roll with some options, but we've got a plus here. So, ooh, okay. So we can add on um, some text, a document or compendium. We've got a description. We've got a weight, and then we've got a range. Right, so if I add a couple more on, this might make a bit more sense. Does that, does that add six on? So on a roll of one, so one to one, it's going to be the top one, or two to two, it's going to be the next one, a three to three. So if you're doing random encounters where you've got some things are more likely than others, you can actually go, ah, on a one or a two, this will happen. Um, but for this instance, we don't want that. We just want a plain, you know, one number per item. Okay, so we can obviously, as this is text, it says description, we can... Uh, We can just write that in. <laughs> Normally we'd just be able to write that in, but I'm a Muppet. Uh, five bottles, see, more Muppetry. Uh, a fine wine. 
so we can just do that okay good um, I item 2 item 3 item 4 just for testing purposes obviously item 5 and item 6 okay so we can say that that's our table we're happy with that uh, I think update probably if you mess around with these okay let's do a roll Ooh. oh okay it's dumped it in the chat uh, we rolled a one ah so interestingly what I put here where I said hello in the table description is put that up there as well uh, and we've just got five bottles of fine wine oh that's lovely what am I going to do with those I can't do anything with it apart from tell them that that's what they've got uh, of course I could update the description to say uh, 10 GP each I could absolutely do that um, so that when we roll we know what we've got and how much they're worth yeah that makes sense um, but I can't drag that into a character sheet I can't add that to the table to the encounter loot um, and things like that of course what I could do going to our encounters for the compass rows uh, and to our inventory I could add all the items on here and then delete the things that they don't find could do that absolutely uh, I'm sure that's not the best way to do this okay so what if instead of text we choose document oh okay so we can choose an actor cards item which is probably what we want a journal entry macro a playlist a roll table so a roll table in a roll table oh right though that's quite good so if you're doing encounter tables you might have a table that says oh yeah you've rolled a such and such oh okay um if you get between this number and this number you get no encounter if you get between this number and this number you get an easy encounter in which case roll on the next table which is the easy encounter table and if you roll between this and this you get a hard encounter in which case roll on that hard encounter table i guess that's how that works it nests them We'll, have, we'll play with that at some point. We're not doing that right now. Uh, scene? Hmm. Does that mean it will it will take them to a scene? Can we drag a scene into here? Let's... I'm in journals. I don't want journals. Oh, wow. Well, what have I just done? Dragon's Rest. Get back in Dragon's Rest. If I go to scenes... Can I drag that... Oh, okay. So it hasn't updated my box here. It's added another one at the end. Seen the dragon's rest. So I wonder if that means if that comes up. Let's find. Let's see if we can find out. Uh, right, we're out of sync. We've got one, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if I update, it's not going to do that. What if I do this? Normalize result weights. Ah that now gives us one two three four five six okay so let's roll and see if we happened at item four yep just says item four item three item one five bottles of fine wine 10 gp each how long does this take to get us six ah <laughs> oh, it's gonna take ages isn't it just just to annoy me come on it's one in six chance What are the odds? Well, actually, ah, there we go. Right. <clears throat> so the bottom chat here. It finally rolled this one. Uh, draws a result from the Compass Road hold loot table. Hello. We rolled a six. Dragon's Rest. If I click on Dragon's Rest, uh, that brings that up. I can make private or delete. Okay, that's not what we want at all. I was just wondering if you can use that. I mean, <clears throat> I suppose you kind of could use it, sort of. Um, what's the dice next to it? What's that going to do? Nothing. I was wondering if you could use it to, let's say, you teleport randomly to somewhere. 
Um, you go through a portal and it randomly spits you out into a different plane of existence, a different room in the castle, whatever. I wondered if you could use it for that and it would automatically give you the link straight to the next place. Uh, no, doesn't look like that's the case. All right, was worth a try. It's nothing to do with what we want anyway, um, but it's worth giving it a go. Okay, so documents, we can do actors. We can do items though. So if I go to my items list up here let's pick on our heart cap mushrooms can i drop right so when we drag it from our lists on the right it adds it on separately so let's get rid of that number two again let's rebalance there we go and number six is now this heart cap mushroom so in theory when that comes up in the chat i'm not going to sit there and roll until i get a six again <laughs> <laughs> when that comes in the chat we should have the item down there and in theory we can drag that over okay so we can do it from our own items if we want to but what about things like f f let's let's look at our srd um items and spells let's look under our trade goods so one of the things was 20 pound sack of whole clothes clothes not clothes uh if we drop that in Brilliant. So we can add clothes directly from here. Now, my problem is these clothes, if I double click on it, are worth three gold each. Now, we're supposed to have a sack full worth 60 gold. But I can't change the quantity. Hmm. I can't change the quantity of how many we've got. Because I want 20 lots of that if this comes up, not just one. Uh, weight is, I'm assuming, is literally weight. It's not how many. I'd want a quantity thing. What if I did times 20? I don't know. There's no reason There's no reason why that would work anyway. Uh, ooh. Oh, I updated it and got rid of it because I changed the description. Okay, that's not going to work. Um, silver's another one, but we want, because this silver is worth five gold each. We're supposed to have ten of them worth five gold each, but there's nowhere to say how many that actually is. Let's get rid of a couple of these old ones. So, heart cat mushroom. Okay, so that's come up. I can click on it and it brings up the description and I suspect, I'm hoping, if I go to my players, let's pick on Randall, look at his inventory. Uh, he's got all sorts of things, but he hasn't got any mushrooms. So back to the chat, I can just drag that straight over, right? Yes. See at the bottom here, heart cap mushroom, but it only brings one across. And I think, you know, if so, if we wanted it to say, oh, it's bringing over 10, we would have to then update or drag that across. Every time I drag it across, it creates a new item in the inventory. That's ugly. Don't want to do that. Hmm. That's frustrating. Okay. So we can drag items from the compendiums. We can drag items we've created. Um, we can, when the roll comes up, if it's we've got it as an item, we can add it to character sheets. We just can't put a quantity in the roll table. Hmm, that is annoying. Okay, what about, um, so have we got any wine in our trades goods here? No, we haven't, have we? Okay, what about, how about what we do is, um, let's take those silver bars. Let's dump that over here. So we've got them in our item list. So we're not updating the compendium. Let's call this a pack of silver bars. And we can say there's 10 of them. Now the total value for this is 50 gold. We can leave the description in, that's fine. The details, um, yeah, it's treasure. It's not magical. We can leave that in. So we can potentially do that as an item. Then if we track, if we pull this over to our table, we've got this item of pack of silver bars. 
So we might be able to do it that way, but again, we're creating more items. And, and while that didn't take very long, I'm not too worried about that, we're potentially ending up creating an awful lot of items throughout a campaign, which at some point could cause a problem. Um, how much do I care right this moment? I don't. I don't. <laughs> but I'm just bearing in mind that that might not be the best way to do it. Uh, if any of you, obviously, have got any ideas, if you've done this before, if you've had a look at it and you've gone, oh, he's being a Muppet, I know how to do this, please drop some comments. That would be really, really useful. Um, all right. Are we going to have such thing as wine in there? No. No wine in trades goods. But that's okay, because what we can do... Um, what have we got in loot here? Da, da, da. There's an ink bottle. There's perfume. All I'm thinking of is taking something kind of similar. Let's take an ink bottle. I'm going to dump it in my items. I'm going to double click. I'm going to change this. Um, and call it a... Um, a box of a box a box of wine again there goes my amazing inability to do um, so this box of wine they're worth 10 gold pieces each so that's going to be 50 for the box of wine uh, so we can update this description a bit so this was 5 bottles of fine wine packaged in a case in a uh, five bottles of fine wine in a straw uh, straw packed case that'll do okay <laughs> typing with the clay golem uh, we're going to call that a treasure uh, of course the party might decide to keep it and drink it um, so we now got it called a box of wine so we can drag that in here um, and there we go so they get a box of wine rather than getting five individual bottles of wine we can do that um, we could do the same with our cloves okay so Again, we're not updating the core item over on the left here from the SRD. This is our local one. So this is sack of cloves. Let's just say it's large. Now, I said this is worth 60 gold. Um, we can leave the description because that's, that's what it is. Uh, under details, um, we're just, let's just call it uh, just junk, really. <laughs> just junk <laughs> uh, wait I'm wait 20 oh hang on a minute hang on a minute we've got quantity on here haven't we oh so maybe there's maybe if we put 20 are they 10 each uh, one each Oops, are they three gold each? I'm not sure how this works because we've said there's 20 of them. Right. Testing purposes. Let's dump this in here. Okay. Sack of cloves, large. Uh, let's get rid of a couple of these that we're not going to be using. Get rid of that one. Let's just go with these three for the moment. Okay. Let's see what happens when we roll these. Clear the chat so we've got a nice blank canvas. Right. First roll is... A box of wine. Okay, so uh, who should we let's use our test person? Hello, test person who's got nothing. So you can win a box of wine. There we go. So this box of wine is worth 50 gold. I've got one box of wine for 50 gold. Good. Right, next. Haha. -ha. Okay, so we've got. Um, our sack of cloves, large. Let's call up our test character again. What have I done with her? Come on, you can do it. I think I was having a Muppet moment again. Sack of cloves, drag that across. <gasps> oh, look. The three gold each, but 20 of them. 
Right, so that might be a better way of doing it. So if they try and split the box of wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so obviously this is still coming across as um, in the table. It's still one item, but in the item table we can say actually it consists of 20 individual things. That's better because that means that they can share them out and things like that. They can drink a bottle of wine. So we need... <laughs> Learning with the clay golem. Okay, box of wine. Uh, a box of wine, and there was. A, we're going to leave it as that. Um, let's just change it to fine wine. Go to our description. Oh, that's fine wine. How do I get out of. Oh, I've done something. No, hideous. Oh, absolute muppetry. Just pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> it's just an escape. I couldn't get out of the item description. Uh, right, okay. What was I doing? <laughs> Fine wine. Yeah, I got stuck in this description. I couldn't come out of it again. All right. So, <laughs> Don't do what I do. Okay, so there's five of them, and they're worth ten each. Okay. So that's fine wine. Where's our roll table gone? Open that up again. Thank you very much. Back to our items. Fine wine, drop this in here. Now we want to get rid of, we'll get rid of that. Okay, so in theory that is now correct. Now we want to do the same with our pack of silver. So let's do silver bars. They're worth 10 each and there's five of them. Details, yep, their treasure. Excellent. Get rid of that one. Bring our silver bars over. Okay, right. This is, we're getting somewhere now, I think. So we've got cloves, we've got a silver, we've got wine. We had a pair of candlesticks. Um, now, candlesticks aren't going to be in there. Now, we, we could just replace this with other items of similar value. We really don't need to spend ages messing around, um, you know, doing stuff. But I'm going to duplicate silver bars. And I'm going to call this... Um, candlestick. What is the chance I'm going to have a... Whew, I'm not seeing anything that looks like a candlestick here. So I might need to go and find another item or something like that. Um, wow. Let's just select that for the moment, just so it looks different. It looks more like <laughs> a knob of butter rather than anything else. Okay, so these candlesticks are worth 25 gold each, and there's actually two of them. I definitely want to get rid of this description. Uh, and of course, I'm stuck again. How do I get out of the description? Do I close and come back in? Where... Oh, blimey, where is it? Candlestick. My knob of butter. Yeah, can you see what I mean? I'm stuck in here. Mm -hmm. So I press escape. It does that. I don't know how to get back to the other description. Help, I'm stuck. Oh, okay, right. That forced it to refresh whatever was going on there. Okay, so details, this is treasure. So under there we got 25 each, two of them. Brilliant, let's do that. Let's chuck our butter candlesticks over here. Um, and the other thing was a loot, wasn't it? Now, I'm not going to find it in here. Um, this is just a normal loot. It's not the... Uh, it's not the one that they uh, are suggesting which is worth more money and stuff like that. How much is this worth? This is only worth 35. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I can deal with it. Um, and the last item was a scroll, spell scroll of command. Now, that brings up a slightly different, and it might be another video for this, it brings up a slightly different question about uh, spell scrolls. Let's look in the compendium. Obviously, we've got spells themselves. Um, 
So I've got the command spell. Okay, and I know this is I'm doing something weird, but that's okay. If I drop it over here as an item. It hasn't got the effects on it anyway. The details are all in there. Uh, yeah, so that is literally is the spell which I don't want. What I do want, just get rid of that, is close that, the other SRD, um, under items. We've just got scrolls. So I can drag over into, hang on a second, go back to my items. Items, come on Muppet. Uh, I can drag that over, which is just a first level scroll. Um, but it doesn't tell you what it is. So I might, um, I might instead just rename that command. So I might just do that actually, uh, and just. So one of the things we'll need to look at at some point is creating spell scrolls that the player can have in their inventory and then they can use that item and it will create that spell effect. Now I don't think we're quite there yet, bearing in mind that we've had some challenges with getting the 3.0 version working to do those effects and things like that. Some people are having mixed success with it. I'm not having any success. We're using dthreads instead. That's fine. It works for us. Um, but for some spells and things, spell scrolls, um, it would be nice if we could get the scroll to actually work. Now, um, this is the first time I've looked at spell scrolls, so there might be a really easy way to do it, and you might be sitting there pulling your hair out going, you're an idiot. You know, Actually, you're looking in the wrong place. But for now, I'm going to leave that in there. So uh, just do our rebalance thing. We've got one D6, six items. Uh, close our SRD over there. And now we can roll this table. Here we go, there's some fine wine and I can allocate it to whomever I want. So we've got this now, this roll table works. Yeah, it's not perfect, um, especially that spell scroll thing, but it will do the job. So I'm quite happy with that. The next step though was, the whole point is the fact that at the compass rows, just going back there, in the lower deck, this is where it says about making that roll. So what I want to do is edit this. Okay, so under this bit under treasure where it talks about doing it, can I drag that roll table in there? It looks promising. <gasps> Compass rows. Hold loot. Click. There's the table. Yeah, so you can. All right, so let's edit that so it actually fits in with what we want. When a character opens a crate, um, roll. Let's get rid of all of that. But at the end, when a character opens a crate, roll on the compass road hold loot table. to determine what's inside. Okay. Brilliant, so we can do that. Now, the one last thing we want to do, open this table, is, can you remember this draw with replacement? Let's take that off. Now, let's see what happens. Brilliant, we've got some candlesticks that look like butter. Look, it stays greyed out. Silver bars is now greyed out. Sack of clothes is now greyed out. So it's not going to repeat. And that's exactly what we want. So they're, you know, if they only open three crates, they're going to get three different things. If they open five crates, they're going to get five different things. If they open seven crates, they've found a crate from somewhere that <laughs> apparently doesn't exist. Um, but there's no reason you couldn't uh, make more crates if you wanted to. One of the things that often annoys me in modules, let's have a look. We're in this area. One, two, three, four, five, 
six so there's six big crates but there's all these barrels and stuff like that now of course it's a it's a wreck so it's more than sensible to be able to say a lot of this stuff is destroyed and you can absolutely talk about you know um ropes that are you know of all rotten um the things that have been nibbled by fish um you know crates or barrels of food that have you know the water's got into and all sorts of things to you know reduce the number of useful finds um but it does annoy me when there's clearly on the map and it's like there's seven things they can look at and it says oh there's only four um and they don't correlate it's just one of those things that annoys me <laughs> it might be one of my special things right so that's our very first look at roll tables um it wasn't as difficult as I thought it might be. Um, it's a little bit frustrating that we can't just drag straight from the SRD and say, hey, look, if it gets this, there's five. Uh, we've had to do that slightly different way. But to be honest, how hard was that? It, it kind of wasn't. Um, now, yeah, I'm not happy with my stick of butter for candlesticks, but, you know, how much do I care? Chances are they're going to have those candlesticks until they can sell them at the first opportunity. Um so uh, they're probably not going to notice, but I could find a better picture for it. My, Like I say, my concern is that you end up with this list getting absolutely enormous. And even if we put it in folders, um, when are they next going to find, you know, silver bars, uh, a sack of cloves and things like that? So it's potentially a one shot item for the whole campaign that sits there taking up space. I don't know how big a problem that is. I mean, maybe after they've used it, you can just delete it, get rid of it. I don't know. Um, one of the things we can also remember is that we can create our own compendiums. So it might be that we go through and create loads of these things and shove it in a compendium um, for later use. We don't have to have it live at the moment, do we? We can pull it in from the compendium as and when it's needed rather than having it kind of sitting live here. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Is that the way you would do it? Have you done it a different way? Have you got any advice? Um, did you learn anything? Because I certainly did. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.